Hey folks, Mike and McGee here. What you see is a couple mallard ducks. As you know, I've got ducks all over my place and they have multiplied and remultiplied and the drakes are just a little overbearing and there's nothing that I like to do better than taking care of problems like that because it's so delicious. Frank, what do you think about it? <laughs> he ain't gonna say nothing. But we took these ducks, we plucked them, we scalded them, we singed them, we've got them ready to go. And my goal in this is to take a duck and to use this neck as a sausage casing. I don't know if it'll work. Some of the things we try here don't work at all, but we're gonna try it and see if it works. We're gonna make a sausage with this duck meat and try to stuff it. Let's do it. All right, we've got our ducks both completely deboned. As you see, I saved both hearts. I saved gizzard pieces and liver pieces. That's all gonna go in to this sausage. And here is a demonstration of the fat layer, fat and skin. Basically their skin is just another type of fat. That's basically what duck is. You've always heard, oh, duck is too greasy, greasy, greasy. It's possible that duck may be the perfect sausage making material because yes, it is greasy. It is fat. Now right here, what you see are the four breasts and here are the thighs. Everything else has already been put into this bag. What we're gonna do, I'm going to cut these things up into small pieces to be ground and I'm gonna pop this bag into the freezer and get this very chilled, almost frozen, before I grind it. And when I say chilled, I mean frozen. And as you can see here, it is nice and marbled all together. So that's really got me excited. I'm gonna grind it through with a little bit of back fat, pork back fat from my Mangalitsa pigs. Let's go ahead and grind this through right quick. Hey Caleb, you wanna help? Come here, boy. Come on this part. What I want you to look at is what a grind. What a beautiful grind here. This is coming out completely frozen, crumbly. The, the fat and the meat are not smearing at all. That's just exactly what you want. Is that a steak? That is a duck. And I've got to break that apart a little bit. Go ahead and put it's that in. Steak. Yeah. Alright. Yeah, go ahead. There. Go ahead and plunge it, get it all in. Yeah. All right. Look at that. As always, we have our salt. One and a half teaspoons of salt per pound. The black pepper, a half a teaspoon per pound. So since we got three, we're gonna do one and a half. And since it's duck, I'm going to be throwing some rosemary in here. I'm going to put two teaspoons. I'm going to put three teaspoons. Uh, I'm going to put four teaspoons of rosemary powder. 
Don't that look good? Uh, and since it's me, I'm gonna be using some Spanish paprika. And do I ever like paprika? So here we go. I'm gonna put two heaping helpings. Four. Well, it was heap enough. It might be considered That's four, but no, good. no. Okay. It was double. All right, hang loose. Hang loose. Hang loose. I'm gonna put one of garlic powder, Matt. Yeah. Uh, go ahead and put the stuffer on here. Take the blade out. Put the stuffer. We're just fixing a stuffed sausage, boy. All right. Next, we're using coriander, and I'm not gonna measure. I'm just gonna. Lay them in on it. I want some savory, flavory seasoning. Tomato starch. Can you read that? Tomato starch. Can you read it? Is it potato starch? It does say potato starch. I'm just going to put half a teaspoon of potato starch. Why are you putting potato starch in it? That'll, give, that'll help it to bind together a little bit. Ooh. Brand new pack of camp dog seasoning. Now what I'm gonna do with this camp dog, I'm gonna just generously shake it all over this. That ain't generous enough to suit me. The lid tried to shut back. There we go. If anything cries out Cajun, it's ducks. Oh man, yeah. So at this point, this meat is still frozen. Starting to thaw, but it's still under 32 degrees. And we're gonna mix. And we're gonna mix, and we're gonna mix, and we're gonna extract some protein here until we can get us a tacky, a tacky dough that's still cold, and we're gonna stuff it in that sausage. But you look here how crumbly this is right now. It's cold. So now I'm gonna use the back side of the spoon and start really putting some pressure on it, like this right here. And there's another way you can do it that might even work better, and that's to take your hands Squeeze it together and let it just come press into each other. And that will actually get this thing going even faster. The only downside is it slightly warms up your dough, but this is so cold right now, not going to be an issue. You see how quickly that went into a dough? At this point, I think... I think it's going to be tacky enough before we even get it completely mixed, but I'll show you. Now, I don't have to completely perfectly mix it because the auger is going to be spinning in there nicely. So now you want to see if your proteins are extracted. Look at that. We're good. It's time to stuff, boys. Let's stuff this wonderful, wonderful sausage. All right, folks, as promised, we've got our duck heads here, complete with the neck and all. They were fairly frozen too, but that is how we're gonna do it right here. All right, I'm gonna put this on like this, and we're gonna go. All right, that's it. No more from this one. I need a nice big twist tie. That looks good. <laughs> that, my friend, is a sausage casing El Natural. Uh, we don't want our sausage to escape. Look at that. I think when we smoke that and, and slice that, I think that's going to be delicious. What do y'all think? <laughs> now, here we go again. All right, let's go. Just like that, we got our second one full. 
wrap her around there. I'll take over. And we just want this to continue cinching tighter and tighter. So we'll grab it by the base and twist. All right, that's it for this one. What do you think about it, Kaden? No. Good. Just enough room to tie a knot. Frank, 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 what do you think about that, son? <laughs> that's a pretty. <laughs> <laughs> we got our duck sausage over here and our possum sausage here. That's beautiful, beautiful. Never would have ever dreamed. Are you going to put it in the... Smoker. Mm. Not the smokehouse. This yeah. is going to be hot smoke, not cold smoke. Oh, there. Yep. Yeah. And I've got patties frying what was left in the head of the grinder, so we're going to be able to tell if we like it fried better than smoked. We're going to know it all by the end of this video. Mm -hmm. All right, the time has come to get these sausages going. I was I had no clue how much sausage these duck necks would hold. It looks like I could have probably done about three more of them. We're just gonna lay them out right here and let this smoke and let this heat do its perfect work. Just like this. Beautiful. Okie doke, we have hit 160 on these bad boys. I'm gonna get them out. No, they're not quite there yet. Uh, we're looking at about 144 on them. So we're gonna give them a minute. Frank, what do you think about this? I think it's cool, son. <laughs> you think it's cool? Yeah, look at it. They ain't green head mallard no more. <laughs> they're brown headed <laughs> sausage <Okay>. heads. <laughs> Well, let's go in the house and eat, folks. I got people ready for a look. Okay. You want to get them here? No. All right, guys, it's time to try this out. This has been a extremely interesting, fun experiment, I have to say. Ducks we raised on the farm. We're gonna try them out. Now I've got fried patty that we had left over that didn't fit in the casing. I've got the ducks with the skin, the natural skin. That's the most natural casing you could ever ask for. You can get in the comment section and say, oh gross, all you want. You ain't gonna bother me. So I'm gonna cut this up right quick and we're gonna see what we've got here. Mmm, 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 ain't that beautiful. All right, everybody, I think we ought to try the patty stuff first because it actually was fried for a while now. Grab that, Kayla. Everybody reach in here, help yourself. Cheers, everybody. That is duck sausage, boys. A little, well, it's a red meat. Duck is a dark red meat. So it's kind of like eating a beef sausage. We got the fat in there. Wait a minute. Frank can't eat it. He can't eat red meat. Nah, he's allowed to eat waterfowl, ain't you? Yeah, flat footed and don't give a quack. <laughs> it's a little salty. It's really good. Yeah. Alright, everybody grab you some goo, some duck neck. Naturally stuffed into a natural neck. Mm -hmm. That's really good. Mm -hmm. So the sausage itself tastes much better like this than fried in a patty. And I mean much better. Now the actual skin, the actual skin, it's very difficult to eat. It's like plastic. So you don't have to eat that. But, whoo, man, oh man, oh man. The stuff fried is a lot drier. It yeah. Is. It's so juicy, cooked in that greasy duck neck. A duck's skin is like another form of fat. They just, it's very greasy skin. 
by cooking it this way it was unbelievable i got this idea from two guys in the cooler eric on celebrate sausage season three of this year he allowed me to make a video for his channel for that season of sausage but he had a goose video where he talked about this could be done he didn't do it but i did it and i love it i have to say i really enjoy it if so you're a duck hunter or if you raise ducks i highly recommend this this is fun it's a novelty it's delicious and what else <laughs> i put frank on the spot oh man well folks that's that's all we've got for you today we're going to get on out of here we hope you have a great day we'll see you on the next video